Okay. Um, Ned, well battered, cracking partnership from you and Paul Coglin. And uh, ironically, he's broken his own record that he set with Paul Collingwood a few years ago for the best seventh wicket stand for Durham against Derbyshire. So a little bit of history today. Yeah, no, it was nice. He spoke, we spoke about that in the changing room. I think he already knew that or maybe he'd been told it. But um, yeah, he was very pleased with that. He's obviously um, slightly disappointed not to get to his 100, but I thought he played magnificently. Um, he's been playing well all, all season, really, without getting the runs in the game. So it was only a matter of time before he, uh, he produced some, some numbers. So um, he's a great guy to bat with. You know, you just have to hit the ball and you tend to get a run. So uh, uh, it was good fun. Yeah, I mean, he's got a big stride, him, and hasn't he? And he can get the quick singles in there. Some of them look a little bit on the risky side from where we're sitting, but he's obviously backing himself that he's got the pace to get to the other end quickly. Yeah, no, it literally takes half the strides that I take to get from one end to the other. So, um, yeah, I just have to drop in. He's running, so I just get off strike uh, without trying to do anything too risky. But um, I thought he changed the, the tempo of the game and the momentum of the game to put us in a, in a really good position. So... Um, hopefully tomorrow the weather holds and we can uh, we can drive that position home. Yeah, I'm just thinking back to all those days in the spring where we never had a drop of rain for about two months, but we also had no cricket. And ironically, here we are with this weather and it's been a frustrating few weeks, particularly with Leicestershire last week. What was the plan today? Because the weather forecast suggested it could really end by about 12 o'clock. So to actually get through to just after two was a bit of a bonus. But did you have a, did you have a mind on the weather when you're thinking about the batting points? Uh, not particularly. Um, obviously, 300 was definitely a target within the 110 overs. I think more than that would have been um, a slight risk. To, uh, we could have um, gone for it and, and fallen short and not had enough, not have enough runs on the board from the position we were in. So I think obviously to get up to, to 330 odd an hour in this position is is really a great position for us to be in after after some of the games we've played in. So um, obviously we only have six overs left of our, our batting innings. So probably looking at. Um, not too much longer or, or maybe declare in the morning. Um, we'll see how we get on. But um, obviously it puts us in a much, much stronger position than we have been this year. And hopefully we can, uh, we can put that to good use. And what kind of track has it been to bat on? Because we were given the impression yesterday it was quite a, a flat surface and it would be dig difficult to get the wickets on it. Yeah, it's one of those you can score. It's a good cricket wicket. You score runs and, and if you put the ball in the right area, um, you can get some rewards, but um, it'd be interesting to see. Obviously, the heavy roller hasn't been used yet, so um, whether that has an impact or not will be interesting. Um, I think it's just going to be classic Riverside scoreboard pressure, keep the run rate low, and we've seen even in our innings, you know, wickets fall um, pretty quickly one after the other. So um, it's about holding the scoreboard tight and then hopefully having a, a couple of sessions where, you know, you take two or three wickets quickly and, and put the pressure on that way. Yeah. Uh, given the time lost, obviously a declaration might be a sensible thing in the morning, but I'm looking at my scorecard. You're on 78. There's six overs left. If you can keep Chris Rush with it at the other end, maybe swing the bat and try and get 100 on the board. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll keep that option open. I'll keep Frankie's ear, ear open about that one. But no, I think obviously we've, we've put ourselves in a good position and, you know, there is a threat of more rain around in the next couple of days. So um, the likelihood is we need to do some bowling as soon as possible and um, hopefully knock a few early wickets over with the, with the new ball and, and put some pressure on Derbyshire uh, middle order. Um, so we'll see what happens in the morning, but more than likely I think we'll be having a, having a ball.